It's not like you can take some fiberglass and some mahogany and some ebony and some abalone and throw it into a big machine and out pops an ovation. It doesn't work like that. What I think is really interesting for people that come and visit the factory is the first thing they say is, I didn't believe that there was so much handwork involved in the construction of the guitar. They know everything about guitars. I've been out to the factory, I've talked to the people there, i talked to the people who manage the brand, i talked to the people who make the guitars. They know what they're doing and they come out with a lot of new ideas all the time. Well, the, the thing about Ovation is we're very advanced technologically compared to many other guitar companies, but in reality, there's a ton of handwork, and a lot of people always think that everything's done by machine and it does all this stuff, but there's a tremendous amount of handwork that goes into it. I do run a CNC machine upstairs that cuts the pockets in the top uh, and the bowl, uh, but for the most part, I work on the necks, work on the frets, getting them so they'll play correctly, and then from there I actually go in and I, I play test them and inspect them to make sure that they do come out right and, uh, and go out the door looking and sounding the way they should. And when you finally get to that feel, that final feel that a player's going to appreciate when they get this guitar, somebody did that. Pride goes in every guitar, every guitar. The people we have now are very committed. That most of them are, like myself, pretty long-term employees. I mean, a lot of them are 20 plus years and they believe in what they're, they're building and they uh, like what they're doing. It's great to work on a product that, you know, you know what it's going to do and, and, you know, put a little bit of each person into that guitar. You buy into a little bit more what you make if you also use it yourself. You're also a customer yourself. So many things, so many variables in putting it together. Quality is very important. The end product, it still has to be a human hand that goes on there and does the fine sanding and the fine carving or the, fret work or whatever needs to be done. The technology has started the process, but in the end, it's still the craftsmanship that needs, that needs to finish the guitar to make it the instrument that it is. It's an individually made guitar, especially like in the carving and the, uh, the binding, and many of those operations are very labor intensive. In the long run, it's just people just, you know, putting their hands on the guitars. We spend hours and hours and hours in every guitar. One thing that we do at Ovation is we continue to reinvent ourselves to arrive at a guitar that is modern, is innovative, and yet harks back to its past. They know guitars. This is no, you know, new company. You know, you want something, you want a feature in the guitar, you know, they have it, they can do it. They're, you know, they're the elite. Ovation. It's the shape.